this video we are going to learn about Fibonacci Bollinger Band so basically today we will try out this Fibonacci Bollinger Band and we will try out its simulation using three points so in this tutorial later we will take for three latest reversal point using this indicator and we will use risk reward projection to find out its risk reward and we will take three latest point in the stock and later we will summar summarize out and also if the risk reward position is more than one means that we can plan the trade as the reward will be higher than the risk so that our trade will be more profitable compared to uh, losing so basically this as a disclaimer this tutorial is for educational purpose only and we does not contain any constitute financial advice this video will teach you how to uh, use this indicator and we doesn't has any financial advice or an event investment decision on this video and next uh in today's video we are going to go through fibonacci bollinger band by Rashad. so basically thanks to this author uh, we can use for this indicator in trading view and as the definition of fibonacci bollinger band is a technical analysis tool that combines fibonacci retracement levels with Bollinger Bands to identify the potential support and resistance level in the market. So basically, using this Bollinger Band, we can find out the support resistance to make our trade strategy. And also, the calculation to indicate this indicator will be volume weight moving average. It basically will take the moving average, the price action or the graph and it generate out the indicator for the Bollinger Band and later we will try it up so let's start first of all you need to open out this indicator you can go to the indicator tab and just type for Fibonacci Bollinger Band and you can use this Fibonacci Bollinger Band by Richard and uh, try it out so basically you can just open it up and after you open you can see uh, it will indicate the indicator out in your graph and it consists of a uh, few lines uh, this line will indicate the support resistance of the graph it generates based on the volume price action volume weight price action as just now we mentioned and if you want to customize this indicator you can just go to the indicator and just press for setting and you can change for the input for example you want to change for the moving area lens the source it take the open high low or even closing price of the candlestick to weight as a moving average and also you can change for the multiply and if you want to go through this indicator uh, definition you can just press for this three dot and just go to the script when the three dot drop down and you can just go through there as you can see it will include the script and others uh, definition regarding this indicator so let's start first of all after we have generated our, our, our indicator we will take three points with the higher volume so basically i will put out a uh, three high volume place so these three lines will be the higher volume and we will try to plot this three point so first point we will take for our educational study will be this point so basically this is point one and this should be point two and lastly this will be point three so basically we will take a uh, three point that uh, consists of higher volume and as for example you can see at this point so basically at this point when it touches the upper ceiling of the Bollinger Band you can see it break out and it has a retracement as this point will consist of a strong uh, resistance if we are using the Bollinger Band and at this point it shows a break out after it break this point so basically 
for this point when it has a breakout breakthrough and this one will be a fail it retrace back so basically this will be a retracement so basically this will be a retracement if we uh if the definition if we break the the resistance it will plan for a trade to go up so basically this uh will be a fail trade if uh, using support and system if we break the support and system and we retrace back so it means that this will be uh, our first trade that uh, fail i mean uh, less potential and next as you can see when it break down with a higher volume it will break through the support and it will go down so basically this will be a, a potential trade if we are trading and we can plan for our risk reward for example for this when it break at this point we can plan for our short position as it break for the support so basically this point will plan our trade to here and our resist our loss will be here so basically this point will be 2.28 for our second trade so let's jump down so for our second trade risk reward ratio if we are shorting the position will be 2 for it so basically this is a profit profit trade while if, if we go back for example this will be our trade for long as it break the support so at this scenario if we break sorry we are going to use long position so as this scenario is the break so basically we will set the support at this area and the long will refer to previous but it doesn't have any previous so basically this uh, will set but this will be a loose trade as it break the support but it doesn't go up it consists of retracement so we go back down so basically this will be our loose trade and last we will take for one more point with strong value as you can see it break to support assistant and it will go down here so basically you will be at this region and this will be a win trade as it doesn't it will make a few sideways before it break up for the support and system so basically as you can see it touches this point and it maintain at this area so basically this will be a minimum profit trade so this will be a minimum profit trade but this uh, trade is not uh, recommended as this side it doesn't has any risk reward high risk reward ratio for your trade so basically this is uh, so yeah so summary this will be a two one win one minimal winning position and will be one loss trade so basically uh, when this will be two a uh, two win and one loss so basically this is uh, the performance if we have a trial run stimulation but this doesn't uh, show all the functionality of this Fibonacci Bollinger Band you can try out for different time frame and uh, different stock or even Forex you can try out yourself but this is a reference for your strategy only this doesn't mean that this indicator is not a good trade because it only determine the risk re uh, resistance and support you need to try out yourself and use strategy tester and make paper trade before you try out uh, using this uh, indicator so yeah basically this is uh, the basics of uh, Fibonacci Bollinger Band you can try out yourself and plan your trade thank you